Hello everyone, I'm back and I have some extra time so I thought I would film the December favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my fashion favorites first and then I'm going to go on into makeup. My first fashion favorite is this bowler hat and I feel like I've been wearing it a lot the past two months. So even though this is a December favorites, I'm going to go ahead and say it's more of a November, December, December favorites because I haven't filmed, I, I have, can't remember. I think my last favorites video was a September favorites. So let's just say this is also a favorite, whatever. Anyway, so why am I talking still? Anyway, so I've worn this a million times, I feel like. Uh, I have a lot of outfit of the day posts with a lot of pictures on my Instagram and I might actually wear it tonight for dinner. But anyway, I love this hat. I just, it's like an olive green color. It looks kind of brown. There's probably dog hair on it. But I just love it so much. I just feel like it adds a little something something to my outfits. And I just feel like it's super cute and I really want to get more hats. But I can't find hats anymore. I feel like everyone has bought them all because everyone wears hats. But every time I go to Forever or Target, I can't find the right hat for me. So I do not buy it. I do not donut buy it. So I guess I'll just have to wear this one forever. Yeah, so this is one of my fashion favorites. The next fashion favorite is uh, a pair of shoes that I uh, mentioned in my previous video, which is uh, my Dolce Vita. I don't know what you call these. They're Dolce Vita for Target. I don't know what the style is, but they're very masculine. I'm just gonna go ahead and call them my man shoes. I love my man shoes so much. I feel like I've worn them so freaking much that throughout this month since I've gotten them. I think I just spit, but they're just so easy to style. I There's something, I don't know what it is. There's something about like androgynous style that I love. Um, not being able to know if it's masculine or feminine or whatever. Like just like a unisex, item is my favorite thing ever. I just love men's fashion and I love the way that some of the things look so the fact that I was able to find these at um, Deco's, uh, my local resale trade and buying store or whatever, um, for 11 bucks was like insane because I've been looking for a pair of shoes of, like these for the longest time. Hello. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my beauty favorites. And my first beauty favorite, um, I purchased this foundation a long time ago, but I feel like throughout the month of December, it was my most worn foundation. And it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And this is a full coverage foundation. I do not need full coverage, but I just love the way it looks when you have full coverage because it doesn't feel like it's full coverage but it covers everything up and it just makes it look so seamless and flawless and I love it this foundation is amazing and so um, yeah like I've been wearing this all throughout December so that's my first beauty favorite the next beauty favorite is a uh, bronzer contour whatever you want to call it and it is in my NARS Guy Bourdon palette, Bourdain, Guy Bourdain, whatever. Um, it's the Laguna bronzer. It comes in its self single um, little, it's sold single, I don't know, whatever. But it is this one. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I messed up my blush. But it is, oh, the glare. It is this one right here. And it's just so, it's like the maddest, most basic brown shade ever but it just blends so well I feel like it doesn't make it look muddy or anything and I love it okay my next be beauty fave yeah beauty fave duh cause we're not talking about fashion faves anymore is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Dip Brow Pomade in the color dark brown and I love this stuff I feel like it makes my eyebrows look great and if you come to think about it which is super true the Brow Wiz Get, you you go through brow wizzes like this if you use it to fill in your eyebrow completely. Just get a text. If you use it to fill in your eyebrow completely like this dummy was doing. And I felt like, my, why am I going through brow wizzes so quickly? That's $21. If you know where that's from, comment down below. Um, so yeah, it's like $21. And I don't want to spend $21 on a brow wiz. So I went in and bought the... Um, pomade and it lasts a long time which I made the mistake of leaving it open so it kind of started cracking I hope it doesn't get messed up even more but I love this stuff and I recommend it 
This is one of my favorites for the month of December and I really think you should try it if you haven't. Just bite the bullet and get it because it's changed my life and my eyebrows. They're very happy. The next two products are lip products. One of which I am wearing on my lips right now. I'm gonna try to focus. It is the Lime Crime Velveteen in the color Wicked. Kinda looks awkward on you like this. By the way, if you like my makeup, let me know because I kind of hate it. I don't know why, but yeah, let me focus again. Bye. So I'm all focused again, I hope. I hope I'm not blurry. Can't really tell. But yeah, so this is the Lime Crime Velveteen in the color Wicked and I'm very really sad to inform you that I'm almost running out of it because I feel like I didn't know that you only need a little bit and I obviously, every time I put it on, I'm like, I get so happy and I'm just like... I wanna get the cashmere one because it looks super cool. But I, um, I really want to get another one of these. I feel like, I don't know, I just love this product so much. Maybe I can try new colors. My next favorite is these Maybelline Matte, it's Color Sensational Matte Color in the color Divine Wine. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you. Just gonna do a little hot. And it is an upside down heart. It's this color. It's very similar to the Lime Crime Wicked, but this one is more. Uh, it isn't as deep. This is more like ox blood, and this is more like a very deep red wine. But I love it. It's like the creamiest matte lipstick that looks matte ever. It doesn't dry out your lips. This one is perfect because it doesn't dry. I feel like I'm just like, what's that word? I don't know. But I love it. And I've been wearing it a lot this month. Even my mother wears it and she's 55 and she loves it. So oops, I said her age. She's going to hate me because she watches all my videos. But even my mom loves it. I feel like live a little. No matter what age you are, you can wear a dark lip. My mother wears a dark lip. So yeah, uh, that is that color. Oh, I have two random favorites of this month. Um, so like, I feel like this whole month, my boyfriend and I have been on a cream soda kick. Literally, Wawa has the two for two cream soda bottles, the A&W ones. And every time we go to BJ's Brew House, we get the brewed cream soda that they make there. <gasps> I love cream soda. Like if I could live in a cream soda waterfall or soda fall, I would totally do it because cream soda is so freaking good. And I always like those weird sodas like root beer, cream soda, cheer wine. And a lot of people don't. I mean, like my boyfriend doesn't like root beer, but I love it. So yeah, and the next random favorite is Dexter on Netflix. My boyfriend and I have just finished watching I think I'm gonna start recording again. I hate when it does that. But if I didn't catch it before I stop recording, my next random favorite is Dexter on Netflix. Oh my god. This show gives me anxiety. I feel the pimples coming up through my skin of how anxious I am and stressed. Season one was like so good. And um, I just feel like you guys have to watch it. It's really good. It's really grotesque and I love it. These were my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. And if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment and let me know what you guys liked this month and and or if you have any video requests. So I go I go. I hope you guys have a happy new year and I will see you guys soon. Bye.